we have been a little behind on life updates. So we're in Hawaii now, but how we got here was first we went to Ireland and then we went to Portugal and then we went to Spain and then we went back to Ireland and then we went to Nebraska and then we went to Mexico and then we went back to Nebraska and then we went to Florida and Texas and then decided to move back to Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, I am a smart mouth. How'd you think I wound up where I am? Who I am by now? Just another minute till we sister sign off. So if you're not with a wave, bye bye bye. Babe, I got a third eye. I don't do receipts. I'm a witch for me. Okay, so our actual moving. Basically, we had a lot of um, people that thought we shouldn't move back. And so we had a month of like... What did we do? Is this the right decision? Yeah. And so we just pretty much decided like to take it one step at a time. We have a bunch of packing to do. We got rid of most of st our stuff so we don't have a bunch of stuff. But that's the fun part. So we booked this teeny tiny cube that we pack and then gets shipped and so it showed up and it was, I mean we knew the size of it but seeing it was like, oh this is really small. So we tetris that fit quite a bit but also there was a lot that we couldn't fit. So we shed a bunch of stuff, got rid of a bunch of stuff. But then we were flying with the cat and we ended up having two surfboard bags full of three surfboards? Yeah. Like nine, six? Yeah, we had two long boards and a medium sized board. And they're heavy. So, so we had two, two board bags, one cat, and then three overweight bags, and then one regular bag. <laughs> Plus our carry-on, like two carry-ons and two personal items. So we had a lot of stuff. And we sold our cars before we left, so we had a rental car in Nebraska for like a week before. And then going to the airport the day of, we loaded up our rental car and then we went to return it. And the guy at the rental car place was like, we were like, hey, where are the carts? The carts that you push? And he was like, oh, they're down there, but do you just want me to drop you off because you guys have a lot of stuff. And we were like, oh, sure. Like, he, we thought he meant drop us off at, like, where the carts were. And he meant, like, no, I'll drop you off at the front of the airport. And so we're like, cool. And so I walked to the front, and Frosty went with him and got dropped off at the front. And then I met him at the front, and we unloaded all of our stuff. And then I was like, I'm going to take the cat inside and get her dealt with while you unload the stuff out of the car and so I go inside and I'm like dazed and confused and I'm walking <laughs> with my cat and literally this guy from the airlines like pulled me out I was just walking straight and he was like you're with me <laughs> so I was like okay great and so he gets the cat all checked in and but then they need the TSA agent to come and check to make sure I'm not like smuggling drugs with my cat and I was like that's really cool but can um we not do that because <laughs> she's kind of like I don't know what she's gonna do if I open her up here so then I think I asked if we could at least wait for you now I'm outside I have all of the bags in two carts can't push that by myself especially with two nine foot board bags yeah so. so this nice the nicest gay agent ever he was like getting me checked in and he's like how many bags do you have and I was like we have six bags but two of them are surfboard bags he was just so nice and we actually had seven bags <laughs> <laughs> which I didn't realize until they all came in but I'm sitting there with Andy and Isaiah's outside with all the stuff and so I was like can I just run outside and help him and the guy was like mm, I'm not really supposed to let you do that and I was like I'm gonna come back and so he was like okay fine which so he really wants to let me do that and kind of got in trouble for it so I feel bad about that but I ran outside helped him come back in and then the TSA agent came down and we like guarded the cat and did where we were not smuggling drugs so that was fine <laughs> 
<laughs> and the cat did not get away. And so then we send her off and then, yeah, get the extra bag. And then we go up and we go through airport security. That was fine, I guess. And then we get on the flight and we were in the very last row. The very yeah. back of the plane. The very back of the plane. And then this flight attendant comes over and just like sticks a sticker on the seat in front of us and doesn't say a word. <laughs> just walks away. <laughs> we were like, what the heck? And it was a sticker that said like they've put Annie the cat on the plane. <laughs> um, so that was nice. Then we flew, I don't even know, Phoenix. No, Salt Seattle. Lake. Seattle. <laughs> we flew to Seattle. <laughs> Seattle. Had a two hour layover. I don't, yeah, I don't have any of this in my head. Yeah, we had a two hour layover. Went pretty smoothly. Got on the flight and then we got here about like nine. Yeah, like nine o'clock at night. By the time we got all of our bags and everything, which everything made it <laughs> in one piece. We were like a caravan. Yeah. A carnival. Two man two man horse show. Yeah, and so we got a Kia Soul. Oh. And the cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Kia Soul for our rental car, but we couldn't pick her up until the next morning, which was probably a good thing because there's a lot going on. We packed into that car pretty tight. Tight. Then we drove. We did. Oh, we went to Burger King that Yeah, night. it was super late. Didn't have any food, so we stopped by Burger King. And the lady was so nice. It was like everyone was so nice. I feel like there were other nice people that we're forgetting about at the airport. Oh, no, that's not till the next day. Yeah, so we got Burger King. The lady was super nice. And then we showed up to our place where we're staying. And the lady there also was super nice. We, like, pulled in. And it was, like, 11 o'clock. And we were, like, hopefully we're at the right house. <laughs> <laughs> and so Frosty just, like, walks in the door because he was, like, I'm pretty sure it's right. And thankfully it was. But I have accidentally rocked into the wrong house before. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> that's in Hawaii. Yeah, that's another story. So I didn't want to just walk in. But then um, the lady renting us our place, she came out and was like, so nice. I was like, yes, you're at the right place. You guys get settled. We'll figure all the stuff out in the morning. In the morning, we had to go down to Waikiki to pick up the kitty cat. Well, we had to go to the airport. But we went to Waikiki and Ala Moana, walked in the water, put our feet in the water, got coffee. Oh, we got McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> we went to McDonald's to get coffee and a smoothie. And it was speedy. Breakfast of champions. Yep. And then we went to the quarantine place to pick up the kitty cat. And they were like, oh, there was another couple. They're picking up two dogs. And one of the dogs' name was Annie, which is the kitty's, our kitty's name. So that's <laughs> ironic. But then they brought her out and they were so nice. The people at the quarantine place were so nice. And then we went to the pet store to get her pet stuff that she did needed. And, lit, and I, so I was buying a bunch of stuff, like a new litter box, litter, food, toys, all of the cat things. So like I just got a new cat. <laughs> and the lady at the pet store was so nice too. Like homie hookup. So nice. I won't tell you where. Um, <laughs> the end. 